The a RTD Pipeline Inspection Tool, PIT, is our widely used self-propelled tool for inspection of unpiggable pipelines. All equipment is transported in three 20-foot containers and placed at a convenient location near the pipe entrance. Each pit is specifically adapted to a client's needs and wishes. The ultrasonic inspection and detection is done by up to 64 ultrasonic sensors in the sensor array, which is at the front of the pit. Depending on the pipeline diameter, the number of sensors in the array varies. The sensor layout can be adapted to focus the inspection task. In the case of a loading pipeline, the bottom of the pipeline is the most important part of the circumference. This pipeline has been modified for easy inspection and access. It is equipped with a flange for connection of the pit launch tray. After preparing the site, the tool is first yep. thoroughly tested. All functions must be in perfect working order. Are all sensors working? Is the motor running? Does the odometer work properly? Does the swivel operate as it has to? This is used to rotate the sensor array. It is used on the reverse run, so another part of the pipe is inspected on the way back, thus obtaining more information on the condition of the pipeline. The electromagnetic transmitter is also tested. This device enables divers to locate the pit in the pipeline to mark areas of interest. Finally, the calibration of the ultrasonic system can take place. We use a stepped calibration piece to set standoff distance and wall thickness. In a liquid filled tank, one sensor will be moved over this step wedge. These steps will show up on the computer screen. With this information, the ultrasonic system is calibrated. Now the tool is ready for the pipeline inspection. The measurements start as soon as the sensors are submerged in the liquid inside the pipeline. So how does it work? An ultrasonic pulse is constantly transmitted by the sensor through the liquid in the pipeline. The inside pipe wall surface reflects the signal. Measuring the time difference between sending and receiving the signal, seen as the first pulse on the screen, results in a distance measurement between sensor and pipe wall. This provides accurate quantitative information about the internal pipe geometry, any internal corrosion and its depth. A part of the ultrasonic pulse continues in the pipe wall material and is reflected by the pipe outside surface. This can be seen as the second pulse on the screen, providing information about the wall thickness and possible external corrosion. All signals are transmitted through the umbilical cable to the electronics outside the pipeline for online presentation of the results. Using a software program developed by a RTD called Pit Mapper, the data is processed and visualized in real time on the computer screens. This umbilical cable has a length of 10 kilometers and can be lengthened with a second spool giving a total possible inspection length of 17 kilometers. When the pit reaches the pipeline end manifold or PLEM, 
The first run of the inspection is finished. Now, the swivel will be activated and the return inspection run can be started. The winch is put in reverse, pulling the inspection tool back. On site, the first report of the inspection is discussed with the client. If necessary, the client can take immediate action. So this is how I will report the... Later, at head office, the results are evaluated and documented. The fully detailed report, supported by a CD-ROM, is delivered at the client's offices. This CD-ROM contains a view program called Pit Viewer and can be used by the client to review the reported information. A plus RTD, non-destructive testing and inspection.